day. Hello and welcome. My name is Valerie. We will be doing another full hour, about roughly an hour of a chair yoga session today. Um, I do want you to know too that if you don't have that full hour, you can always um, use just parts of this video, parts of it that you like, or parts of it you feel you need. So you can fast forward to that. And I do hope you have enjoyed my other videos. So we will get started in our chairs. Do you have a durable, um, a very stable chair, a sticky mat, or you can be on a carpet, which is fine. Um, and if you do have um, some props, I do recommend that you have some sort of a tie, a rope, uh, like a, a, a yoga strap like this. Um, you can also substitute um, a very long um, like beach towel uh, or a rope tie. Uh, if you do have yoga blocks, that's great. Uh, if not, you can substitute a book if you need it. The yoga blocks extend the arms and they can also extend the legs, which I need because I'm short. So anyway, we'll get started today in our seated meditation. So we're going to sit back in the chair very comfortably and I do need these blocks to extend my legs. Okay, so my feet are grounded. So we want to be grounded as we sit in our chairs. So we're going to sit back comfortably. So uh, we have our back to the back of the chair. So you do want a, a chair that, that does have somewhat of a high back, so you can use it for support. Okay, so we're going to start with our hands on our thighs, palms facing down. And I also do want you to remember that you can do any of this movement in modification or um, avoid it altogether if, you, if it is bringing you pain. Okay, and that is pain that you're feeling in the joint. If you're feeling um, tension in the muscle, well, that's, that's something that's probably quite good. So, you can start very comfortably, very, very relaxed, seated. So bring your shoulder blades to the back of your chair. You can feel the back of your thighs in the chair and your feet on the ground. So we're going to close our eyes. And just start to shift your focus from the outside in. And that focus will be on breath. So we'll start breathing in through the nose. And breathe out through the nose. We're going to gradually deepen that length of breath. So we're going to breathe in a little longer. And to expand the rib cage and the belly, let it rise. And then exhale the breath, all of that out. So see if you can bring it just in through the nose and out through the nose now. Deeper. Let the belly rise, the chest expand. And then exhale the breath out. Breathe in that nose, nice and slow. Our slow down breath, we're going to add a pause when we finish the inhale. Just pause the breath a moment, and then release the breath. And pause the breath again. Just let the air come back in as it normally would. Pause it comfortably. And then release the Settle into a rhythm that's comfortable. Do you feel your breath move your body? Move your chest. Move your belly. Maybe you're feeling your in-breath all the way down into your hips as you sit. Out-breath in the belly as you draw the belly back in. Your in-breath also on the side of the ribs, maybe pressing into the back of your chair. Nice release on breath. This is a conscious pattern of breathing. We are controlling the breath. It's a breath that we do want to remain very aware of as we're moving in this practice. The linking breath and movement, that is your breath. That simple connection links us to mind, a mind that's focused on its quiet, at rest, at peace. Open our eyes and come to sit forward 
away from the back of your chair. So I'm doing side walks away. So my feet are gone. Okay, so we'll sit with the feet firmly grounded. We're going to lift the toes up and then spread the toes out as much as you can. So really feel really good base on your feet. And then just relax your toes back to, to the ground. And if your hands pressing down, I feel your sits bones press into the seat and lift up through your spine. Draw your shoulders down and back. So that lift up through your spine is going all the way up to the top of your head. And you want to remain with that feeling as you start to turn your head to the right. So we're going to start with some rotation in our spine. Bring your gaze back to center and we're going to turn to the left. And then bring your gaze back to center. Bring your chin down toward your chest without rounding your upper back. Just pause here. Got a lot of sensation in the back of the neck. We'll move our chin over to the right shoulder. Chin is down, bring it back to center, and then over toward the left. And then bring your gaze back up, bring back to center. Bring your chin up toward the ceiling. Try and bring your lower jaw a little, a little more forward of your upper. And then you can move your jaw a little bit right and up. Got a very thin muscle here. It's quite big actually. It attaches to your upper ribs from your cheek to the jaw. And then we'll slowly release, bring your head back to center. Let's start to get into the shoulders. We're gonna bring them up. Bring them back, bring them down, and bring them forward. Let's do that again. Bring them up, bring them back, let's bring them down, and bring them forward. Now let's bring them down, bring them back, bring them up, and forward, and the time down. Nice and slow. You feel your shoulder blades move, glide along your back. Up and forward. So we're going to start to um, move our arms a little bit more as we're moving our shoulders. And with our arms, we're going to move our elbows and our wrist joint. So let's just start by circling the arms. You can circle the arms up, take a nice breath in. Have your hands touching up a prayer. And then turn the palms out as you exhale. Nice big breath in. Reach up, not only with the arms, but with the, from the crown of your head. And then exhale, bring your arms down. Sitting nice and tall with the inhale breath. And let's bring our hands back to heart. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Now, with our hands in prayer here, we're going to start to interlace our fingers and just make um, make a big fist here with your hands and just start to turn and move your wrists so make some circles with your knuckles and uh, you're going to notice of course your, your arms and shoulder joints moving here and then your elbows are moving and then we're going to take that action a little bit forward and let's turn our palms forward, open up the palms, just press forward, and then bring the palms up toward the ceiling. You can bend the elbows here if you need, or otherwise just keep your elbows nice and straight. So we're going to lift up, take a nice deep breath in, and then we're going to slowly release, bring the arms down. Okay, now a little bit different here. We're going to bring our, um, our hands together here, but before we do any, before we make a, a, a fist here, we're going to cross the wrist joint. Okay, so you can, it doesn't matter, just choose one wrist you want to put over to the other. Now, with our palms facing out, we're going to turn our palms in the opposite direction, face each other, and now interlace the fingers. Okay, so we're just going to hold our arms out nice and straight so our elbows are straight. And then we're going to slowly start to bring our knuckles down and pause there. And then bring your knuckles up and pause there. Now bring your knuckles to center and then bring your knuckles over to the right. Oh my goodness. Pause there. Come back to center and then over to the left. And 
across there. Nice. And then just make a nice big slow circle. Very slowly, be careful. Now bring this back to center. So we're going to reach our knuckles straight out in front of us. Feel the stretch into the middle back. And then we're going to start to turn our knuckles down. Bring your knuckles toward your chest. And then bring your knuckles up toward the ceiling so the elbows are down. And let's reach the knuckles up. Pause here. Good boy. And then we're going to slowly drop the elbows down. Oh, as far as you can, maybe your forearms are parallel to the ground. Good. Now let's do that again. So we're going to bring the knuckles out, down and under and out. Bring the knuckles down, under, toward you. Knuckles lift up. Try and bring the knuckles way up as you bring the elbows up. Oh, be careful here. And then slowly start to bring the elbows down. Bring them down, bring them down as far as you can, as far as you can, and pause there. And then to release, we're going to take our knuckles by toward our chest, take them forward, reach and reach and reach. Good job. And then release, just shake out the arms, shake out the hands. And let's keep the shake as we circle the arms up. Nice. And circle them down. Let's do that again. Circle, get the elbows, the wrists moving, fingers. And circle them down. Good job. All right. Good job. So let, we're going to sit forward. We warm up our body um, in, in this yoga practice. I start you guys all out with a nice warm up from head down to toes. So we're going to move now down, since we've worked the arms out pretty good, we're going to move down into our uh, torso. And that's our abdominals and the muscles of our back, which we need to keep toned to keep our spine healthy. Okay, so um, also good for posture. So we're going to sit get pretty far forward um, into our chair. All right, and we're simply going to start by um, lifting the right knee up and then bringing the knee toward the chest and rounding your back. Okay, so you're going to feel your belly contract here. So you can hold the knee here. And then we're going to release, bring the hands back, and bring your chest forward. So it's a little bit of cat flow through the spine. And now we're going to lift the left knee up, hold and pull that knee in, pause there. So you can round. If it's too much to, to round your back, you can keep your back straight, just lift the knee. And then release, bring the hands back, and bring the chest forward and up. Take a breath in here. And then exhale, knee comes up, round, bring the forehead toward the knee. Release on the inhale breath. Open up the chest. Okay? So we can keep, we'll do this for a few times. So this is a modified option. Okay, a little harder. You're not going to use the hands to lift. You can bring the arms to cactus. And then release, arms come back, we arch. On the inhale breath. The exhale, lift the knee, bring the elbows forward, round. Good. Inhale, we open up. Exhale, knee by forehead, elbows come forward, round. Big breath in, open up. Good, let's do it some more. Open up. Right knee. Last time to the left. Good. We're going to open up, bring the hands back to the seat. Bring the chest forward, lift the top of the chest up, bring your knees up. Take a nice deep breath in. And then exhale, come back to neutral. Okay, so um, we're going to, we move the spine in some flexion and extension. Always good to move it in all the directions it can move. So we have rotation. And now, and lateral uh, flexion just side to side. So we'll do some rotation with that core work now. So we're going to simply bring our hands to our thighs, sitting forward. Slide the hands back. Keep your back nice and straight. We're going to cross the forearms, bringing hands to the chest. We're going to breathe in to stay here. As you exhale, turn and twist to the right. Lift that knee. In here. Back to center. Turn and twist to the left. Both right. Turn twist back to center. Good. Let's do that again. Just come over to the right with left knee. Stay here, breathe in. Breathe out. And come back to center. Let's do it. Other side. Stay strong. 
Have some more. Then do that. Just come back to center. Let's raise the arms up overhead. Exhale the breath. Take a nice deep breath in. Come up to neutral. Hands in prayer. Exhale your hands to heart. Let's take a big breath in. And a big breath out. Let's move forward. Okay. So we'll move down into the legs. Uh, we'll work with some well, strengthening as well as um, flexibility in, in the legs. We'll do a little bit of both. So we're going to sit um, in front of the seat. So your sits bones are pretty far forward. So we're just going to start with a, a fairly simple exercise here, uh, which will get into the stretch in the back of the leg, and it will start to it will tone the hip flexor in the front of the hip, the hip flexor muscles here, the, the big powerful muscles, the muscles of the thigh, the muscles of the front of the legs, and then it will also get into um, flexing um, and stretching the muscles of the back of the leg. So let's we're going to start with our hands on our hips, and we're going to start with um, taking uh, our lift our right toes up, and then we're gonna slide that right heel forward. So we straighten that leg. Good. Now with our hands on our hips, we're gonna breathe in, lengthen up from the crown of the head, and then we're gonna to start to hinge forward as you exhale. We're gonna breathe in here, staying here. Exhale, maybe you're hinging a little more forward. Your next inhale, we're gonna come back to neutral with our torso and lift the right leg up. Exhale, pause, take another breath, and then simply return that foot down. So let's do the other side. So we're going to take our left heel forward, slide it forward, so the leg is straight. So you're going to feel the front of the thigh engage, flexing the foot. We're going to breathe in, lengthen from the crown of the head so the spine is neutral, and then we're going to breathe out to hinge a little bit forward. You're going to start to feel that sensation in the back of your thigh and into your calf, depending on how much you flex your foot. So we're going to stay here another breath, exhaling out, use your exhale to move a little deeper if you have that available. We're going to inhale to come back to center, lift the leg, exhale, pause, take another breath in, and then we're going to release that leg down. Good job. So we're going to take a deep breath. So these are big, powerful muscles that need a lot of oxygen. So I encourage you to use your breath in any manner that supports what you're doing today. Right? So we're going to continue working into the thighs and working, getting these legs and hip flexor muscles very nice and strong. All right, so we're simply going to do some um, arm and leg movement. So we're going to start by lifting the right, extend the right leg straight and lift the left leg. Okay, and we're going to switch. Left leg right, arm, switch. Left arm left, left switch. Leg right, switch, and okay. so you can go at your own pace here, but take your time. So with that leg, you want to pause. Remember the pause in the breath? That's a good time to pause some movement. So there you, you feel so much sensation. There's a lot of awareness there. When you're moving too fast, you just don't have that presence, the attention. Right? We move too fast through anything. There's nothing we really experience. Now, we take both arms up, this is where it gets hard, and then first start to lift right leg, and then see if you can lift left. Oh my goodness, pause here, breathe, flex the feet. This is like downward facing dog. Stay here, another breath. Legs working hard, and let's release. Good job. So then we're going to slide over to the right, so our left thigh is on the seat. And then we're going to bring the right foot back. We're going to release the hip and the thigh here right now and the belly. So we're going to bring that foot back, slide it back so the knee is below the hip. And then see if you can take that knee even further back. And then press, you have the toes curled under, press the top, the ball of the foot into the floor. You're going to start to feel that release in the, in the, in the top of the thigh and into the hip. So you're going to press the foot into the floor, maybe see if you can even work on straightening the leg a little bit here. The torso is being nice and neutral. And once you get to where you're going here, you're going to extend that same arm up. Oh my. And maybe take it back. 
pause here. This is like our high lunge. Nice way to do it. You're supported on the left thigh. Slow release. And you came in, and we'll move over to the other side to release the other thigh. Okay, so we're going to settle on our right thigh and extend my foot here. Okay, so you're all the way on the opposite edge, ed edge of your seat, and we're going to take the left knee down below the hip. You can hold anywhere on you, you need to on your seat. And then toes are curled under now, or you can actually do this on, on the top of your foot. So you're on the top of your toes. That's going to be a different sensation in uh, the top of your foot and into the front of your ankle. So I'm going to do that this time. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my knee down below my hip and maybe slide that foot back a little bit more. And I'm going to press the top of the foot into the floor. Oh my gosh. So a lot of sensation. I'm not only feeling it here in the front of my thigh and my hip, but I'm feeling it in, the, in my lower leg and the top of my foot and ankle. So I'm going to see if I can take that leg back, maybe even straighten it a little more, and then maybe take that same arm up. Okay, if you can take the arm up, then the arm stay down. So we're going to breathe into the space, this long line of energy that's open in our body, okay, from the top of the foot or the toes all the way up to the fingertips. Oh, maybe take that back, releasing the abdominals here a little bit. Nice. And we'll slowly release, come back to center, lean a little bit forward, and we'll reset on the chair. Okay, so let's take our feet a little wide. We'll release the muscles of the hips. You might have felt working a little bit here. We're going to bring the hands to the thighs. Take a deep breath in on the inhale breath, and let's start as you open the knees to hinge forward. Sliding the hands down the knees. We're going to breathe in again. Nice big breath in, and then exhale, lower a bit more. Take another breath in. If you need to stop here, you can stop here. Just continue. So every time you stop movement, notice the flow of your breath. Okay, so there's, there is always movement. Even if you stop it physically in your body, you always have some movement for breath. Okay, so, and uh, of course, if there's any movement you're avoiding, you do have uh, the movement and the awareness of your breath you're paying attention to. So you can take this a little deeper. You're attaching your fingers forward or you can use your book or your block to extend your arms here. And just kind of let your head rest. Okay, we can move a little bit side to side. You can take a little bit of a side stretch. And then maybe over to the other side. Oh. So if you're going left, you're really going to feel that through on, on your right side. You can reach a little more through that arm. And then we're going to come back to center. Okay, and then slowly, slowly start to take our walk back up. <sighs> take a deep breath in through the nose. And out through the mouth. Okay. So we haven't done I haven't done um, some brain work in a little in, in a, a little bit. Um, that's that involving movement and coordination of uh, of changing movement in your body. So we're going to play around with this today, see how you do. Um, it might get a little like frustrating, but just have a good laugh and come back to it. <laughs> you know, just have fun with it. And with repetition, you tend to get it over time. So um, this might be a little segment you want to kind of play with um, uh, if you don't do the whole practice. So let's have fun with it. All right, we're going to sit a little bit forward. We're going to bring our arms out to the side so they're parallel to the ground. And then we're going to make cactus arms. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring our start by bringing our right hand to our left shoulder, but we're going to gaze over to the right. So we're going to gaze where the hand is moving. All right, so first right hand goes to the left shoulder, and we're going to gaze to the right. And then we're going to come back to center with our gaze and bring that hand back. Okay, now left hand is going to go to the right shoulder, and we're going to gaze left, and then we're going to come back to center. Okay, so let's play with that. Right hand, left shoulder, gaze right, center. Left hand, right shoulder, gaze left, center. Okay, let's keep doing that. So try and go at your own pace. So remember, you're going to gaze where your hand is moving or where your arm is moving. Okay, and then you're always going to come back to center. Okay, see if you get it. And now it's kind of after a little while, after some repetition, kind of sinks in. Well, hopefully. We'll practice it though. 
Okay. So now what we're going to do is bring up, just release the arms down. Oops. Works these shoulder muscles here to hold the arms up like that. So we'll bring the arms down, just give them a shake out. And now we're going to come back to those cactus arms. All right, so arms out to the side, we're going to bend the elbows. This time we're going to take our right hands to the left knee and then gaze right. And lift that knee and come back to center. All right, left hand to right knee. We're going to lift it, gaze right, gaze left, and come back to center. Okay, so it's right hand, left knee, you lift it, gaze right, center, left hand, right knee, gaze left. So knee lifts, center. Okay, so go at your own pace. Okay, keep going. And with breath, take an in breath as you lift the knee or the exhale breath. All right, so find a breath pattern that works for this also. So here's all the coordination. You're coordinating breath, gaze, and movement. Okay, and you're doing things in, in an opposite way. You're gazing in the opposite direction. You are moving an arm or a hand. Okay, so play around with it. If you mess up, don't worry about it. Have a good laugh and come back. All right, so let's just release the arms and shoulders. Now we're going to do a bit of both. So we're going to bring, we're going to bring the arms out, cactus arms. So it's going to be shoulder, shoulder, then knee, and knee. That's the hard part. Do the best you can. So let's begin. So we first do the first, nice and slow, and you can do this as slowly as you need to. Okay. So right hand, left shoulder, gaze right. Center, left hand, right shoulder, gaze left. Center, right hand, left knee, gaze right. Center, left hand, right knee, gaze left, center. Okay, so it's shoulder, center, shoulder, center, knee, center, knee, center. Opposite shoulder, center, shoulder, center, knee, center, knee, center, shoulder, shoulder, knee, knee. One more time. So shoulder, knees are down. Shoulder, knee lifts, knee lifts. All right, good job. Bring your hands to heart. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Okay, so we'll move into the sun salutation flow, which kind of combines a bunch of the things we've already done. It's a, a meditation uh, with movement, all right? And I will guide you with each movement, each movement with, with a breath, okay? So do the best you can here, modify anything that you need. And we do get up to stand here. Um, and I think we'll do, what we'll do today is just our five sessions seated. And our getting up to stand is, looks like this. We cross our forearms, bring our hands to chest, press into the feet to lift up, and then come back to the seat, okay? And then we do that five times to finish up and come to stand. All right, so we'll begin in seated mountain pose. So we're going to sit forward in the chair, mountain pose, and we have the arms down by side, palms facing forward, and we're rooted from the mounds of the feet. Okay. In breath, we're going to start by circling the arms up. As you exhale, lean forward, bring your arms to cactus, bend the elbows. Next inhale, breath, press your hands into your thighs, lengthen and lift up. And then exhale, slide your hands below your knees. In breath, you're going to come up halfway, arch the back, look up. Exhale to go back down, and we're going to stay down. You can twist to the right with the arm, inhale. We're going to come back to center, exhaling. The left twist with the arm, inhaling, gaze to that arm. Exhale to come back to center. We're going to come up halfway, taking the arms back on the inhale breath. We're going to stay halfway up, reach them forward on the as you exhale. Your next inhale, reach your arms even more forward. As you exhale, cross your forearms, bring your hands to your chest. Still with that lean, we're going to press into the feet to lift off the seat, maybe a little, maybe a lot, and then exhale to go back. Inhale, breath, arms come up. Exhale, hands hard. Good job. Now, number two, inhale, arms up. Exhale, lean forward, bend the elbows. Inhale, breath, press the hands into the thighs. Exhale, slide down. You can drop the head here. As you inhale, arch the back, look up. With a smile. Exhale, you go back down. We're going to stay down. Neutral spine. We're going to twist. Rotate right. Inhale. 
Back to center, exhale. Left twist, inhale. Back to center, exhale. We're gonna take the arms back as we are leaning forward. Reach them forward. Inhale, reach more. Exhale, cross the forearms, hands, chest. Press into your feet on your inhale to lift. Exhale, go back to the seat. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands hard. Number three, inhale, circle up. Exhale, lean forward, bend elbows. Inhale, press hands to thighs. Exhale, slide down, you can bring it low. Halfway up, arch the back, look up, inhale. Exhale, go back down. Twist to the right, inhale. Come back to center, exhale. Twist left, inhale. Come back to center, exhale. Take the arms back, inhale. Reach them forward as you exhale with your lean. More of a reach as you inhale. Feel that in the back. Exhale, cross the forearms, hands to chest. Press into the feet, lift. Exhale, back. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands heart. Number four, inhale. Exhale, lean, bend the elbows. Inhale, press. Exhale, slide. Arch the back, inhale. Slide back down, exhale. Inhale, twist right. Exhale, center. Inhale, left. Exhale, center. Arms go back on the inhale. Good reach forward on the exhale. Reach more on the inhale. Exhale, cross the forearms. Inhale, press into the feet, lift. Exhale, nice and slow back. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands hard. Last one. Inhale. Exhale, your lean. Inhale, press. Exhale down. Inhale, half arch. Smile. Exhale back. Inhale, twist right. Exhale, center. Your left. Exhale, center. Arms back. Inhale. Arms forward. Exhale. Arms reach. Inhale. Cross. Exhale. Five times. Inhale. Up. Exhale back, nice and slow. Inhale two, press out from the outer edges of the feet. Back, inhale three. Back to seat, inhale four. Back to seat, good. Inhale five, back to seat. Last time we're gonna stand all the way up on the inhale breath. Big breath in, hands together. Exhale, bring them to heart. Close the eyes, big breath into the nose. Exhale that breath through the mouth. Let's just pause here with the eyes closed. Just take notice of where you've been feeling your practice. You've done a lot on the legs and the hips. You might feel some tingling, a lot of tension there. A lot of feeling and sensation there. But we'll feel some more standing. Okay, let's open the eyes. So we're going to come to the back of our chair. So we're going to walk around to the back of our seat. So take my little forward. All right, so we're going to just start to warm up our feet and ankles. Um, so what we're going to do is we, we are, can use the chair back for as much or as little as you, you need for support. It is also helpful, helpful for any leaning forward like this or um, losing your balance in any way. So it's a good um, position. It's a good position here to um, to for posture. Okay, so we have to lift up. So we're gonna the press is always downward in the chair. You don't want to press too far forward or press it back because it's gonna tip. Okay, so we're gonna use that chair to press down. We're gonna come off of our heels. So we're gonna lift our heels up to the ground. Let's take our left arm up with that. Good, and then bring the hand back. Come to the heels, lift the front of the feet. And you're gonna bring your hips back a little bit with that. Now let's lift up on the heels. Lift right on. And then come back to the heels, lift the front of the feet. Okay, so let's do that again. Lift left, reach up. Back. 
Okay, so that time I didn't use the chair. Okay, that's a hip maybe. Pause. Now let's come to the heels, lift the front of the feet. And then we're going to bring, we're going to start to walk over to the right, keeping the front of the feet up. You can keep the left hand on the chair. You've got a set of focus and a gaze. Okay, we're going to pause there and then we're going to walk back to center. And over to the other side. Okay, you're going to feel the front of the legs, very active. Oh, <laughs> hard to balance on just your heels. All right, now we're going to come back to center. Release the front of the feet down, lift the heels up. So you're going to press that chair back down, lift up. Now we're going to start that same walk over to the right. Maybe we don't use that chair back. Oh, we'll take the opposite arm out. Keep those heels up. Let's walk back to center. Set a focus, your gaze. Just keep noticing your breathing. Okay, the more fluid and, and even your breath is, I think you'll be able to find your balance a little better. See if you can maybe tap that chair back. All right, good job. So let's walk it back. All right, and let's bring the heels down, shake out the feet. Feel a lot in your calves and the arches of your feet too. So we're gonna shake it out. Good job. So we'll, we'll do a little bit of a release for that. I'm gonna turn. Um, I'm gonna turn my chair a little bit. I'm gonna walk away. You don't have to. You don't have to turn yours. I'm gonna turn it so you can see me. All right, and um, we're simply gonna step. Start by bringing our right foot forward toward the chair, and take your left foot back. Okay, and look, the heel is going to be up, so you're going to be on the ball of the foot. And do, do your best to keep this back leg nice and straight. And then we're slowly just going to bring the heel down toward the ground, and you're going to start to feel the stretch into the calf. And then with the heel on the ground, you're going to bend that knee. Oh, you're really going to feel it nice and low into, into the calf. So there's a very deep calf muscle there that gets a stretch. Once you have that same heel down, and you bend the knee. Okay, and then we're going to come back to straight. Good. And then keep that heel down. We're going to come back to straight. And then, good. Come back to straight. And then let's stay here, pause. Just keep your breath nice and easy. And slowly release. And then we're going to hinge a little bit forward. So you're really going to start to feel the back of this leg and even into the back of the front leg here. So this is like our pyramid pose I've done in some of my other sessions here, but we have the back of the chair to keep us supported as high as we need. Okay. In any manner, if it can support you, you want to keep your hips parallel toward the chair and the front leg straight. Okay, then we're going to come back to center and switch. So we're going to take our left foot forward, right back, and we're going to keep the ball of the foot so the heel is lifted. And then we're slowly just going to start to bring that heel down lift. Okay, so you're going to start to feel that sensation into your calf. You can bend the front knee if you want to a little bit here too, that's fine. Actually, you'll probably feel more sensation if you do that. Okay, now we're going to keep the heel down, pause there, and then we're going to start to bend the back knee with the heel down. Okay, it might, might just be a little bit you're bending that knee. And I'm not even sure. Yeah, I'm getting just a little bit here, but there's so much sensation in my calf. So much. But you never want too much. Okay. It's it's a you'll get to know when you do a yoga, when you practice yoga, you really draw a lot of awareness into your body. Okay, most of us live a lot out of our bodies. Okay, so you'll get to know what feels right and what does not. Okay, so we're gonna keep that hold there. And then we're going to straighten the leg. Good. Maybe straight forward leg. Maybe take that little of that knee forward. So for our pyramid pose. If you can take this lower, you might slide your hands down to the side of the chair, the arms of the chair. Pause and breathe, keeping your hips parallel toward the seat. And then we're slowly going to come back. Good job. We step forward. Good job. All right, so um, I think we're going to work a little bit of our outer hip muscles. 
So um, I'm going to, I think I'm going to stay uh, in, in, to, to the side here with my chair. Um, so you do want the chair back toward you. Uh, and of course you can use this as much or as little as you need. Right, so um, we're going to start first with our hands either on the chair back or we can bring our hands to our hips. And we're going to first start by taking our uh, right leg out to the right. Okay, so we're going to hold there and pause. Try, and, try not to lean too far over, over with that leg in the opposite direction. So you want to stay upright, so you can hold the chair to do that. You're going to feel the muscle in the outer hip work. And then we're slowly going to bring that leg back. Get it out. Pause. Back. One more time like that. Just bring it out. And bring it back. Now we're going to bring it out this time. And then we're going to bring it back behind the left leg. Bend that knee. Okay. So we're taking or about, and then we're going to bring it out and bring it in front. Now, you can use one hand on the chair back, take it out and back, breath moving with this, out and forward. Now, I'll see if you can add the arms, maybe just one. Or both. Okay, we'll bring it forward, and we're going to bring it out one more time, hold it out, and then slowly release, shake out both legs. Ooh, really feel it in the standing leg on the outer hip. Good way to tone these muscles, very good way to tone these muscles. Okay, very important to help support our spine, um, and also um, really good to help our, our balance. All the muscles in the hips tone help our balance. So let's move to the other side, our left side. We're going to take the left leg out to the side and then slowly bring it back. You want your toes facing forward. Okay, you're taking it out, so you don't want them angled in any direction. Back. Slowly bring that foot out, pause, and bring it back. Oh, good job. Now we're going to bring it out. Take the left leg out and bring it behind the right. Bend both knees. Take it out, bring it in front, bend the knees, bend the elbows. Now let's take it out, make sure the toes are forward, bring it back, maybe your hands on the hips, maybe one hand on the chair, out and forward. Oh my, lots of work here. Maybe the arms go with this. Back, out, and forward. Curtsying, out, back for a bow. Out, front, perfect. Good job. Now, one more time. Let's bring it out. Take that leg out. Take a deep breath and then slowly release. Good job. Oh my goodness. Shake out both of the legs. Woo. Move a little bit hip side to side. So, a little bit side to side. Woo. I'm going to feel it quite a bit here. And then we're going to move to our downward facing dog. Okay, so downward facing dog, try and use the seat. You can also use the back, uh, the, the back of your chair, um, but try and use the seat for this. Um, and I will stay um, to the side of the chair, but you can come into the front of your seat, right? And you can hold like the outer edges of the chair like this, okay? I'm gonna just hold, have my hands on the seat here. I'm just gonna start to walk with my hips back. So if you have any tightness in your shoulders here, um, you can, you know, get, don't worry about, try not, just try not to round your back, all right? You want to try eventually to get um, your torso in line with your arms. So you, you're going to start to walk back and bend your knees. I'm going to pedal out our legs, so we're kind of shifting our hips right and left, so we release the um, muscles of the outer thighs that we work so hard, okay? So we're just going to shift side to side, and then we're going to bend our knees. See if we can reach our hips away from our hands and our arms. You want to keep your arms nice and straight here. So do the best you can to drop your chest toward the ground. Just do the best you can. You might have some uh, shoulder, you know, issues with your shoulders here. So do the best you can. If you can drop back, bring your hips all the way back. Maybe allow your head to rest between your arms. 
Okay, so we can pedal out here a little bit slowly. Pedaling out is straightening one leg and bending the other knee. And then you can also shift the hips side to side. Okay, and you're going to feel the outer hip also. Okay, so a little bit side to side action. You can also feel the back of the leg. This is a good stretch for the back and the hips. And then, of course, depending on your flexibility in your legs, in your, in the back of your thighs here, Okay, you're gonna feel you're gonna feel that open up for you, or you know you can keep the knees bent if you um, if you are a little bit inflexible in the back of the thighs. Okay, so we're gonna pause here and breathe. Nice release. You can shift a little bit your upper body. Okay, so with awareness, our own inner awareness, we get to know what our body is asking for, and what it needs. I encourage you to be a little creative too. We're slowly going to release, and walk back to the seat, nice and slow. Oh, we're going to take a nice deep breath in. Bring the hands to heart, exhale the breath in now. Good job. Okay. One balancing posture before we get back to our seat to, to finish this practice. We're just simply going to come to tree. It's one of the best balancing postures you can do. So we're going to start by first. Um, Bring our weight into the uh, into the right leg. So I'm going to move to the side. So you see that into the right leg, and we're going to come to the ball of the left foot, and then turn the knee out to the side. And then we're slowly going to slide that foot up. Maybe we're pressing into the ankle. Maybe you have to keep your big toe on the foot. That's fine. Uh, or you can, if you can lift the foot off the ground, we're going to press the sole of the foot into the calf muscle there. It's, it's the soft tissue. All right, and we're going to use that action to feel your foot pressing down, but that's gonna bring you lifting up. Okay, so nice and tall. And we're gonna bring our left hand to chest. And then also see if you can get your right hand there too. You might not be able to today. Okay, you're gonna relax your toes, make sure your toes are kind of happy there, they're moving around, but you're really using the mounds of the feet. Your feet nice and strong, they're doing a lot of work. You're just focusing on one point. Try not to gaze in too many places. That might throw you off. Maybe see if you can bring both hands to your chest. This is tree pose. So you can practice this posture anytime. Okay? Anywhere you're standing, where you have some time to just get on one foot. Practice this anytime. And the more you do it, the better your muscles get toned to support balance, support you for balance. So the muscles around the ankle joint, foot, and in the lower leg, as well as the hip. Okay, and we're going to slowly release, relax that foot down, shake out the standing leg, and we'll move to the left side. Okay, so our foundation now, for the left leg, right knee will bend. We're going to come to the, uh, the top of the toes of that, of that foot, and then turn the knee out to the side. So you want to stay strong in the standing leg, but never a locked out knee. So there's always like a little micro bend. And then we're going to start to maybe try to take that big toe off the floor, slide the foot up. There you can press into the ankle, or if you're taking the foot higher, you can press into the calf muscle. And that's going to help to bring a sense of energy down and up. Okay? Going up like a tree. And then we'll start by bringing the right hand to chest. Gaze is focused, breath is steady. And then we might we're tapping the chair. So you can bring both hands to heart. Standing leg, that leg's gonna be moving a lot. You're gonna feel a lot of action in that foot, which is normal. Just do the best you can. So we we want to balance effort. With a sense of ease. Okay, the effort down below in tree pose, the ease up above for breathing, and even for movement if we had to. So trees move in the wind, right? So if you had to move in the wind and you hold your balance, okay, with your branches and your leaves moving in the wind. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, let's slowly release. Oh my goodness, let's shake at that standing leg. Good job, good work today, good work. So let's get back to our seat. 
and we'll release these muscles we worked. All right. So here's where we're gonna use a strap. So we're gonna take our strap and place that strap to the sole of the right foot. Okay, you wanna sit in your seat so you can straighten the leg. So you're gonna hold that strap with two hands and then you're gonna let your hands slide down the strap so your upper arms are by the side of your body. And you wanna root down from the base of your sits bones so you're sitting straight up though. And then we're slowly gonna to start to press the foot into the strap to straighten the leg. Right? Let's do that with a little bit of a bend. So you're engaging the muscles in the back of the leg and then release them. Press through the heel. Let's do that one more time. Bend. And then release, press, sole of the foot into the strap. And we're gonna stay here and breathe. Okay, so depending on how much you flex your foot, you're gonna have, you know, it's the sensation in the back of your leg, more in the calf, the more you flex your foot. See if you can take that leg higher without your low back rounding or your upper body shifting back. Okay, so you wanna stay nice and neutral. So your arms are doing the work here. Awesome. So we're gonna take only our left hand to the strap. We're gonna bend our right knee and then we're gonna to start to turn and twist to the right. So we're gonna take our right hand and right arm to the back of the chair, and we're gonna slowly start to twist to the right as we bring that leg over left. You feel the sensation in the outer hip here. So you don't want that hip to rise up in any way, so you can bend the knee as much as you need. If you work into the twist, take that leg as far over as you can. Pause here and breathe. And another breath. And we're slowly gonna come back to center. Good job. We're gonna come to our chair pigeon posture. So version here is with the ankle over the knee. So uh, the strap you can let go of, or you can actually use it to hold the ankle up if you bring the ankle forward. But the, the better option is to have, to place the outer edge of the right foot on a block. And that can be as high as, as, as it is appropriate for you. Okay, so I'm gonna do this in, a, in the modified version first. Okay, so I'm gonna sit upright nice and tall and we're gonna to start to work that inner thigh down. Do the best you can with it. And then we're slowly gonna to start to lean a little bit forward and we're hinging from our hip joint, keeping our upper body nice and straight. We're gonna breathe with this, we're gonna inhale Pause, no movement. As you exhale, see if you can soften up any tension, any tenderness or tightness, and maybe a little bit more of a lean forward. So that's going to bring more sensation the more you lean forward. Okay, but do what you can. Only always moderate sensation. Okay, if you're able to lean a little bit more forward, you want to do that with your back flat, support your upper body, your hands and arms. Close our eyes. Just keep a focus and notice all the sensation you're feeling now. It's just a place of awareness. And that awareness is in presence. So we're not thinking about anything else. We are just experiencing each and every moment and what we're doing, how we're feeling it, how we're responding. And we're gonna come back to center. Relax. Okay, so we'll take our strap, sole of the left foot. So we want to root from the very base of our sits bones so we're not tilted back, tipping back on them or too far forward. So our pelvis is neutral. So we're going to start with a bend in the knee and we're going to slide our hands back so our upper arms are by the side of our body. So we're going to do some bi that's bicep work in the arms. We're going to start with a bend in the knee on the inhale, and as you exhale, you're going to straighten the leg. You might need to bring it down. You're going to bring it into bend again, pause. So the, the, these muscles now are contracting, and then you're going to release them as you exhale. Let them release. Okay, let's do that one more time with a bend, pause. So just contraction, and then let it go, release. All right, so stay neutral with our body. The bolts of the chair. And take that leg a little bit higher. 
take it a little higher without the knee bending, without anything happening to your upper body. Any rounding, any tilting. Good job. Now, we're only going to take the uh, right hand to the strap. Now we're going to start to twist to the left. So we're going to start to bring our right arm behind to our chair back. Maybe we just hold an arm of, of, of the chair. And we're going to start to take our leg a little bit higher with a bend in the knee. We're going to take that leg over in the opposite direction of our twist. Stay nice and long as you inhale. So for rotation, you want to keep a neutral, extended, neutrally extended spine. Okay, so you're going to use your exhale to twist a little more. If you have that available, you can use the arm to help you. So you can keep that leg high and you need a little bend. So you're going to feel the sensation in the outer hip here. All right, we're going to come back to center. Good job. And we're going to continue with our pigeon posture. This time I will take my ankle over my knee and then we can bring the strap down. Okay, you want to flex the left foot evenly so you don't want it to sickle like this. Okay, so the outer edge turns down and up. You want the outer edge turning, staying down toward the ground. So we're going to flex our foot evenly. And then here, if you have your knee up like this, sometimes, you know, if it's tight, you're not able to get the inner thigh down. So this might just be your work today. Just stand nice and tall with your eyes closed, lifting your inner thigh down. Remember your breath here. You're inhaling to props, pause, no movement. You're exhaling, maybe some movement. Or you're exhaling, even if you're not moving, you're exhaling to help you to relax any tension, which is not what you want to have here. You're leaning forward, of course, it's from the hip joints, so you're going to keep your upper body nice and straight, no rounding. Your arms, your hands, and your forearms are supporting your upper body. And if you're flexible enough, you, your lean is very far forward with the inner thigh down, you can bring the arms forward, rest your hands, tent your fingers onto, onto a block, maybe just rest your forearm on the lower leg. Close your eyes. Get your breath, get nice and relaxed. And stay here for a few breaths. It's always good when we're helping to, we're trying to release uh, muscles that have, we have contracted and work to stay in a stretch to get them back to their normal length. Some time. Okay, so we come back to center. Let's see how I practice my meditation. <coughs> So for our, our final meditation, we're going to come back and sit into our seat comfortably with my boss. And this is where we give our bodies the opportunity to really absorb the effects of this practice. A very powerful practice. And we give it that chance when we're still. All right, so we sit back, relax in the feet. Relaxing the thighs, the legs, the shoulders. We're going to get comfortable in our chair. So we're sitting back, fully supported. And just begin to close the eyes. Start to soften the back. Start to relax all of your muscles from the top of your head. Muscles around your face, your jaw, which you hold a lot of tension in. Yoga practice is also a good way to notice the patterns of, and habits of tension and stress that are held in our bodies. And they're usually in specific places, so it's a good place to notice that. Relax your 
to the muscles in the neck, the shoulders, the chest, the belly. So it's like a movement, of, of like a wave of relaxation. Top all the way down through the legs, into the feet, the toes, into the arms, and everywhere. All of that nice and soft. And you're just feeling the slightest of me. Notice the quiet place in mind. Lots of quiet places now. That's just as good. Just gonna sit in this quiet. in touch with our true sense of beingness. Beingness as all of our wisdom, our knowledge, our strength, joy, our love. Real reason why we're here to experience all of that in presence. In its fullest, and life is in its fullest. That's the most amazing voice we have. Search for the origin.
slowly begin to deepen the breath. Return to the consciousness of our bodies and mind. Let's bring our palms together to our heart space in a prayer. In any yoga practice, in all, we end and seal it with the sound of an om. It's a sound that represents the vibrational energy of all life in the universe. Nice deep breath in. Good breath and that vibration. And prayer to God, I thank you so much for joining in this amazing practice. Always know that the light, love, joy that exists in me, I always see, honor, and respect. And that meaning. Again, thank you so much. It was such an honor to guide you through this practice. I hope you enjoy it and the benefits come from practicing. And there's so many amazing benefits from this practice of yoga. And I'm sure you will understand that once you do it. So thanks again. Have a great day. Stay well.